Yeah, hi. So it's really hard to see out here right now, so hopefully I can do this video. But this is the coop, the outside part here that I built for them. And I attached it to the shed that was already here. So basically I'm turning a quarter part or the corner part of the shed into the inside coop. So they'll go in through that window. They'll jump up on the little hutch that I bought for them and I'll jump into that window and I'm still finishing up the perch area. They're gonna perch up here. They're gonna poop and I'm gonna have a catchment for their poop down here. Um, this wire is gonna be the bottom. They're gonna sit up here and sleep on their perches and it's gonna be all enclosed on the sides so they're safe in here and then they just jump out of the window when they wanna leave into their larger area here and I got rocks in a garden bed all around so it's secure huge rocks bricks uh, a garden bed in front of this I got a bird net you can see that um, they're loving their compost this is homemade compost that's been sitting up in the compost buckets for several months and it's got tons of bugs and this is a gate i attached the wood frame and chicken wire to it and i got heavy bricks buried and um this is just uh that kind of a latch for now it's good enough it works gate works perfect I had a gap issue here, but I put another board here. I don't know if you can see that. But it's no gaps now. And that's the bird netting. This is really, really difficult to put on, but I got it on there. And I don't have to duck when I come in here, so that's good. This will keep birds from coming in and eating their food. And... Um, Hopefully it'll allow the leaves to fall. That's why I wanted netting, because I don't want leaves to get caught up in the wire. So leaves are supposed to just fall right through this. Hopefully that's what they do. And as you can see, they're loving their compost. They find all kinds of little bugs in, in this stuff. Sometimes I'll use my little garden shovel and just scratch her along in there for them and they'll find even more bugs. So I'll um, leave, I, what I do is I dump all my food waste in, a, in these huge totes along with um, like stuff like leaves and sawdust and old garden stuff, uh, leaves and stuff and you know, and then um, I let that sit and rot in the buckets for a month or two, and then I, I'll dump it out here. This is two buckets right here, two, tote, two totes full. And I'll let them get all those seeds and the bugs out for me and poop in it, and then after it's been in here for a while, when it's even more broken down, that's when I'll add it to my garden. So, and they also they got all this area back here all that area back in there it's nice and cool back in there and this window i cut out for them it goes into a shed area where they're going to lay or she'll lay her eggs and then the upper part is a window and that's where the perch area is this little hutch i bought from ebay which is like 130 bucks and that's where i put them if I have to be gone or something, I just got this yesterday. So if, I won't leave them in this big one unless I'm outside with them because she can actually squeeze through. She'll take her little wings and go like this and she'll squeeze through the fence. So I can't leave them out here unsupervised, but I can actually put them in that one unsupervised more or less. Um, as long as it's not too hot out, it's nice today. It's, kind of cloudy and kind of cool right now it's early if it gets too hot out I'll probably bring them in the house and at night I'll bring because they're too little to stay out alone but 
look at that they just love their compost and I'll show you the nest area I forgot to show that part it's kind of dark in the shed but oh there they go look at them go <laughs> flapping around so these are the two nest box areas Let's see the little gates I got nest box one area nest box two area they, that's the hole over there they come in and I only have one hen right now I was supposed to have four but it's that's a whole other story the the feed store their brooder um, was broke and they only had one light for like 40 chicks so they were all sick I almost wasn't gonna buy any and I just thought okay I'll just get four and then two died so they're all supposed to have been they lied they were they probably were straight run they told me they were female pellets and they were most likely straight run so I'm thinking the probably the other two that died were probably roosters or you know one might have been because I got one rooster and one hen but I'm hoping that she'll get broody and next summer she'll sit on some eggs oh that look they found their food how cute I got their little chick food in there chick starter food they love that and um hopefully she'll go broody this summer next summer that is oh, they're only a month old and she'll sit on some eggs so I don't have to go to that horrible feed store anymore that treats their babies that way and um what you doing Lily and Mr. Doodles that's Miss Lily back there and that's Mr. Doodles with the white on his chest and there's Miss Lily Lily Green she most likely will lay a green or a blue egg huh Lily She's got the dark feet, and then Mr. Doodles has got the more like pinkish color feet. So these are Easter Eggers. They will lay either blue, pink, green, sometimes an odd shade of brown. But yeah, we'll see because one pair, only one parent has the blue egg gene, and one parent has the brown egg gene. And don't ask me why some turn some of the eggs come out pink or some green, but they do. That's why they're called Easter eggers. Anyway, I just want to give you a quick look at my coop that I built. I'm very, very proud of my work. Um, it's exhausting work. I, I like to build stuff. I'm weird, but I enjoy building stuff, but it's just really, really exhausting. Like really, really like makes me very, very tired. And this took me a few weeks to do. I was, a lot of times I couldn't because it was too hot out, you know. I can only work in the evenings or in the mornings, so. Um, I think it's like 11 by 11 in the front and then in the back. I don't know what that is back there, but yeah. It's a combination of chicken wire, bird netting on top, um, welded wire garden beds bricks i'm I, I need to get to this garden i just let it go my broccoli is going to seed i actually like the to eat the broccoli leaves better than i actually like the broccoli and my orange tree's got blossoms i just planted this like not long ago so my lime tree i just planted in the ground something was getting its leaves my apricot tree is doing great something was getting it but I then I put you know what they're putting sidewalks in the front that's why it's so noisy anyway yeah it's getting too noisy I think for the video and just give you another look at my beautiful coop I built the little hutch is from eBay it was like 130 bucks and the of course the shed is halfway converted or a quarter converted or a corner that is a corner of it if i'm converting i'm still in the process of converting okay well i gotta get back to work man it's noisy take care